Number 12, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police. What reports has she received on the number of frontline police patrols? Honourable Ann Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to advise the House that police have reported a huge increase in the number of frontline foot patrols over the last year. The total number of police foot patrols increased by 70% in 2012, rising from 40,918 in 2011 to 69,773 last year. Mr Speaker, frontline foot patrols play a critical role in the government's strategy of reducing crime, it means there are more officers walking on our streets, preventing crime and protecting our communities. Supplementary, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why are frontline police foot patrols important to crime prevention? Oh, Mr. Honourable Speaker. Anne Tolley. Foot patrols ensure that police are much more visible in our community and act as a strong deterrent to criminals. Police are also deploying these frontline staff much more strategically in areas and at times when police know there is a greater risk of crime taking place. This ensures that the right people are in the right place at the right time. And along with the 600 additional frontline officers delivered by this government is leading to large reductions in crime rates. And that brings, that brings to a conclusion our, our questions for I'll answer. Members, I've received a letter from Brendan Horan and Materia Toure seeking to debate understanding order 386 the Government's announcement of a ministerial inquiry into the Nova Pay payroll system used by the Minister of Education to pay teaching and support staff. The announcement of the ministerial inquiry is a particular case of recent occurrence involving the administrative responsibility of the Government. However, not every ministerial announcement will give grounds for an urgent debate. The big hurdle to get over is whether the matter has reached the stage where the business of the House ought to be set aside. There must be an element of urgency for the matter to take precedent over other business. I am not prepared, uh, I'm not persuaded that setting aside the business of the House for an urgent debate can be justified today. There are two other occasions on which this matter can be debated. The House is currently debating the Prime Minister's statement. The financial review debate, must, uh, which must be taken before the end of March, will also provide an opportunity to address this matter. The applications are therefore declined. I call on Government Order of the Day.